Hi, thanks for watching my video. In the last few episodes of the PHP RSS series, we went through the creation of forms to upload things to your database, uh, feeds to your database. We went through the cron form that you're going to use to automatically upload stories from those feeds. And uh, then I went a little further into uh, being able to easily upload the feeds. Now, in my own feed system on Flora Blog and uh, Virginia News Live, things like that, uh, basically every time I added a feed I had to go directly into my database and just upload it right through the insert function. But uh, this, this last uh, script that we gave you, let me go here, uh, the feed tester, uh, I never had a feed tester. I actually just put the stuff in my database and looked for a result coming straight out of the database. So this feed tester has been really, uh, it's something new. I haven't used it. It's a big improvement over what I built to begin with. And uh, then of course I made this uploader here, which I did not have. I was just going directly into the database. So this uh, system is actually evolving quite a bit uh, with this tutorial series that I'm doing. So, unfortunately, there's going to be times where I'm going to go through a, uh, the creation of something, and then after I've already posted that video and people are starting to use it and everything, I might come up with an improvement later on. And uh, this is one of those cases where I found something really, really to be an improvement. Now, today, between doing videos, I got an email from my cron service hoster, that said that I'd had a hundred failures on the Flora blog tweets or not the tweets but the update scripts and I reset those to zero just a little while ago and I've already got one and two fails on that now the problem is with those I had a script that's kind of like this uh, this last update script that we were using where is that at on cron anyway uh, it was this cron script but I had just actually gone through and done, this is the text version, but I can show you where I made my mistake. I, I updated this just recently, and I spoke about this in one of my recent videos, where I use this feed length out of the database now instead of a flat number. Well, my scripts that are sitting on cron running my older uh, news systems have this uh, increment to 25. So that means they go to the news feeds, the RSS, excuse me, and they try and grab 25 stories. Well, there's no need for that. These stories don't come out that frequently. I'm going to show you a feed here that, uh, let's see, this is a space feed. This one here, we got one, two, three, three stories today. So what was happening in a, in a feed like this is every four minutes, it would go to each of these feeds like this feed here, every four minutes it would pull 25 stories if those were all available or try to pull 25 stories out of there. Then it would try and put 25 stories into my database and you want to talk about a considerable server load and cron load and all that. If you're going to run a lot of these feeds, to have that was just extremely inefficient. So as I was doing this series, it came to my attention that since there's only a few of these that come out every day, and this cron is going to run at the very slowest, maybe once an hour, uh, but it's probably going to be more frequently than that, you're just wasting a whole lot of bandwidth trying to get that many, because I was trying to pull 500 records every two minutes actually 500 every minute because I had two of these cron scripts running. So when I updated the cron, what I what I decided to do is have it pull out of the database how many stories it should get. Well, one of the problems with that is that uh, you're initially not going to get the older stories. You're only going to get these three or two or four or whatever you set this number to be. Now, that's really good for your server because it's really light going forward, but it doesn't really give you a whole lot in the beginning. So I thought to myself, there's probably a really good way to handle that, and I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. So if you've been following along, and I'm sure you have, uh, you've got this form by now, 
and your form on this is going to be about the same. There's two changes that I've made and I'll show you those two changes as I bring in another news feed. I'm going to go ahead and bring in the space news feed here. I'll copy that and I'll come back over here and we'll test that. And we can see that we have the information that we want to collect. So we'll go ahead and hit enter into the database and I'm going to control V into that. And this is on a, a server called Flight Global. Now I don't have to worry about how many of these I'm going to pick up on, on a cron. I'll just say two just to keep it a nice light quick script. So then when I go back over here I'm going to just take Space News from Flight Global, copy that in here, and then I'm going to go back to my form. I'm going to paste that in here. I'm going to paste it in here. And I got Flight Global in here. I'm going to paste it in here. And uh, I'm going to run this on Cron 1 because that's the one that works. Now, if I get too many feeds for Cron 1, I can just duplicate that and call it Cron 2 and start making them in Cron 2. And then that way, uh, I'm not running too many scripts at one time. But here's the here's the new thing that I've added. Okay, I've o I've only got two stories here, but I want to get all the stories they already have on this feed. So I'm going to go ahead and click create this feed. And you may be familiar with this. It says operation completed successfully. Click here to return to the uploader. Now uh, this is where it's different. Click here to return to the uploader without populating the database. That means you're just going to rely on cron and let it do its thing and you're not going to do that. But now what I've done here below this is I've made uh, written in, into this a script that will take the uh, ID number of this feed from the database here. Go to it real quick. I'm going to refresh and you'll see an ID number 7 there. And that's going to be the space, right? Yeah, space news. So it grabs this ID out of that and it puts it into a variable here. I don't know if you can see this down at the bottom when I mouse over this. Uh, it puts it into a git variable and then this pushes it to another script that's going to take 20 stories one time only. I only have one shot at doing this. It'll take those 20 stories and it'll drop it in and it'll uh, give the name of the feed that it did it to and then a link to go back to the feed tester. So now I'm back at the feed tester. Now let's look at how that affected the database. I should have had this up there before, but I had 88 stories I think it was in here. So when I click feeds, it should be uh, something like more than 88, hopefully 108, 104. Okay, because some of these stories on this particular news feed that I'm using here actually cross lines. It's an aviation news feed and headlines is going to be the same as aircraft and sometimes general aviation just follows behind aviation and uh, I'm not getting duplicate stories in here so when I do aviation, general aviation, business aviation sometimes that doesn't uh, that doesn't cross. So let me let me drop military in there and military should have a whole lot more uh, new stories here. Let me control copy and uh, go back to my flight test. I know I don't have military in there. I'm not going to test it because that's just going to take up too much time on the video. So we'll just drop this URL in here. Go back here. I'm going to copy the title here, Military News. Control copy. And then go back to my form here and just real quick like drop it all in there. And I'm going to take Flight Global. I'm going to fetch three stories at a time off of this one and I'm going to paste that into there. I'm going to run at cron1. I'm going to create the field or the feed. Alright, now let's go back over here. Hit feeds. We got 104 total in there. So when I click this it'll populate on top of that 104 and we'll see how many stories we get out of that. Back to feed tester. But let's go back here. You can see it's 104 right now. I'm going to hit browse and see see if that number comes up any. 110. So there's six stories that uh, there's 14 stories that cross lines in this uh, feed. Now, as you can tell, I've got eight uh, eight of their feeds running on my site already. 
So I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to go find some other aviation news because I'm going to build my news feed on wingstoday.com which is an aviation site and of course I'm going to send all of my stuff out on Twitter. But uh, this is some new functionality and I do want to say that as I'm doing this uh, system not only am I trying to help you out I'm, I'm also helping myself out and making this a lot more functional, usable, and a lot more streamlined and something that will work with very very little maintenance. Uh, Flora blog, I'm just elated with that. I've had this open for a while now and I haven't checked my tweets but there's you see there's a bunch of new tweets there and I haven't checked my followers in about an hour and a half so I'm up one follower, no biggie. Uh, but I, I, pick, I, I tend to pick up a bunch of followers well it looks like two but I could have lost one somewhere I, I tend to pick up a bunch of followers probably 10 to 20 a day after a period of time and all these people like getting these tweets and stories and that's the benefit of a news uh, system on your website even if your website isn't just strictly news uh, this news system gives the people a reason to come here and I've got AdSense on here but if I if I were selling products like on a shopping cart or something and I wanted to promote my site overall I could do a lot of site promotion on here. I could take that and promote. So in uh, the next few videos we're going to go ahead and put the site together in order for you to be able to uh, put out the last however many stories in one column. Uh, use another column for your search box and then if you want to put advertising in that column you can. And then we're going to list all of our feeds out below here or at least uh, a number of them. If you're going to have a whole bunch of them, you probably don't want to list them all. And then we're going to go down the line with, uh, for example, this came out of a feed called the Jacksonville Nor uh, News 4 feed. So what this is doing is this is taking all of my Jacksonville News 4 feed out of my database and it's showing the latest stories from that feed all in line and when you click on one of these it takes you to the detail page for that and then if you click through to here of course it's going to take you to the article that you just got the feed from so very very cool system uh, it's getting cooler every time I work on it and PHP is one of those things you can get in it and you can start playing you think you know some things and then after a while of playing around you kinda of get the idea you know what this can be a little better and this can be a little better and that can be a little better so yeah this is gonna be a very very long series and sometimes you're gonna write some scripts and more scripts are gonna show up uh... so i'm gonna show you real quick like these scripts that i've done uh... let's see if i'm all the way over here join form no we don't need that uh, what am I looking for here? Populate. Okay, this is the new script that I wrote. And essentially what it does is it takes the URL parameter of feed URL and uh, then it does a simple uh, load URL. And I've gone back here and instead of using the field from the database, I've incremented 220. All right. And then you go down the line here and if it fails, uh, well, if it doesn't fail, if there's, uh, if there's an a URL parameter in there and the parameter is feeder if that exists then it'll run this script and it'll go ahead and pull uh, the last 20 stories and try and put them in now if the stories exist of course we've gone over this before it's gonna ignore the stories that exist and only put stories in that don't exist so when you are doing a news uh, system that has the same stories in multiple feeds you don't have to worry about duplicating those stories ever. As long as they have the same title, they're not going down into your database. So anyway, if it executes that, then that's fine. Then you'll get the feed title, which will verify that that's the feed that you just uploaded all that information from. And then you'll get a link back to the tester. If it fails in that, it, there's this else clause right here. So it says, if, if that exists, run this script, else echo your feed was not populated try again or wait for the cron to update regularly so if you have a failure in this script then that's where the that's where this thing will say your feed was not populated try again if you see this message at the top 
you know there's something wrong you want maybe want to look in your database uh, make sure that you've tested that uh, feed and that the feed works and you've got it on the right cron and all this that and the other but this is the initial uh, this populate PHP I'm gonna put that in the description as populate text and you can put that into your website and I'm also going to update the uh, the link that goes to that which is the uh, uh, parser form at the end of uh, after you have filled out the form to upload a uh, right here once you've clicked this it goes into the parser and uh, then the parser has a link on it so I we need to update the parser form and we need to add this populate PHP and you'll find a link to both of those down below you can use you can just rewrite the parser form that you are that I've already given you in previous in the previous videos just overwrite that with the new parser form and then add that populate PHP and that's going to make your life so much easier as far as being able to uh, just put a low number in this keep your cron jobs light but populate your database with everything that's in the feed prior to launching so thank you very much I hope this is helpful and if you like this please thumbs up comment rate subscribe and we'll see you in the next video